<laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too. Until... You came along! When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible, shocking, unbelievable! It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human! I'll scare your soul out of your body! Mad Dunny blocks the way. I'm sure it'll be fine. Mad Dummy. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Defense is yes? Okay. Defense, yes. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Let's see if I can do this. Haha! Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey! You forget I said anything about magic. Mad Dummy is looking nervous. Let's talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Nope. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Ah, uh, come on. Smells like a clothing store. So mad. Why are you so mad? I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! Yeah. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Well, it is a good ska song. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Then everything I want will be mine. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, worth it. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Come on, there we go. It's just a jester stream. It's not a doctor and derpy stream. That's for something else. And I have to wait until I beat this until I can do something more with doctor and derpy because this computer didn't have my didn't have my save file. I had to start over from the beginning. So this is the restart stream. What was the name again? Ah, uh, come on. Yes. Mad Dummy's getting cotton still all over the dialog box. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Yeah. Feudal, feudal, feudal! Ah, dang it. Uh, let's get a bicycle. You won't have the bicycle. Your HP was maxed out. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! Ah! Why did he have to stop over there? Feudal, uh, excuse me, feudal. Then the Domino's Pizza, why did it have to do that to me? Ah, just so close. All right, tried it again. Here we go. <laughs> hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures, you're fired. You're all being replaced. Poor dummies. <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Dummy bots, magic missile.
Yeah. Mad Dummy is hopping mad. Dummy bots, try again. Oh, jeez. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Dummy bots, you're awful. Ay, ay, ay. Time to get another bicycle. Or unicycle. Dummy bots, final attack! Ah, dang it. Totally missed all those rockets! N no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares, who cares, who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 <laughs> there we go. What, what, what the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Yep. Good times. Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh, no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh, no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, no. Cute old Napster book. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Yeah, let's go to Blucky's house. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't, you feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. You got a nice quiet area. What? 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 It's a living. So that's your abode. Okay. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Fancy. We got all the darkness on the other side. It's locked. Hey. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, let's join him on this little garbage uh, laying down thingy. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Is it time to space out? Because I think it's time to space out. Spacey wacy. I like the pixelated universe behind me. It's cool. There ain't nothing like spacing out. Space! Yeah, I remember Portal 2. Good times. Good times.
Yeah, the house does kind of look like Undyne with the dramatic lighting. Yeah, time to get up. That's enough spacing out. It was good. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. The computer's internet, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. This is disabled Gula Day music. Let's play Gula Day. Yeah. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. Let's play it. Yeah. Spook Tunes. Let's play that. I think Spook Wave is better. Oh, so laying down for a long time doesn't do anything. <laughs> what the heck is that music? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out, winky face. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary, winky face. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are wings of fear, winky face. Forget it, this beat is too... filthy. Wash, wait, don't leave me, Winky Face. Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy, Winky Face? Please, stop, I'll never creep again, Winky Face. Whoa, Winky Face. Mm, yes, calming tranquility. North, Brook Acres, East Hotland. Somewhere, there's Tammy Village. Yeah, let's go to the acres of Bluke. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Thanks, Toriel. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So, snail of Sam Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blick Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Okay, Blukey. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. Let's play. Okay. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Come on, go faster. Come on, faster. No. Race end! Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Let's try that again. Let's play again. Yeah, let's go.
Let's go! Come on, you can do it! Come on! Oh, it's gonna be a tight one. Come on! Nah. It's gonna be a photo finish! Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Your best- Aw, oh, man! Z to the beat of the song didn't work for me last time, and I'm losing money. So let's kind of go scooting around and see about exploring some more land. Feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. File saved. Yeah. Wonder what's in the cave. It's Gerson! Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale! Anything you want to know? About yourself. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through so much of it yourself. <laughs> that emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? As I always say, Old King Flufferbuns can name for beans. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below. And the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has an angel who was seen the service will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death and a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Flufferbuns, he's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around to talk to people. And talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Jimmy Flufferbuns? Oh, that's a great story! I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through getting determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items, it might just save your hide. <laughs> Good times. Good times. <clears throat> oh, I need water. Good stuff. Yeah, for right now. Got cloudy glasses. Got CT. Minus five attack. Invincible longer. Yeah, let's exit for now. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the tiny village is your best bet. Where is it? Yeah, I didn't remember. You need junk for sale. Yeah, good stuff. Feel better soon, cute skeleton. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. 
There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Thank you. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. That's kind of a bit of a bleak outlook. Special enemy Timmy appears to be here to defeat you. I want to just kind of wait until the face vibrates off. <laughs> Face is slowly going off. Feed Temi Flakes. The face is going way off. Temi, me to Tam out of Tam, loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Clumsy humans, too cute. Whoa! Oh god! Temi forgot her other attack. Now talk. You say hello to Temi. Hoi! I'm Temi! Uh. Ow! No, 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 no! Smells like Temi flakes. Oh, hey. That's spare. <laughs> All right, time to locate Tummy Village. Ah, dang it. You walk into Mold Small. Are we sure about that? Mold small sits motionless. What happens if I imitate? You approach Mold small. Suddenly, whoa! Yeah, nice and spoopy. Smells like a bait shop. Mold big. Let's hug the mold big. You're going mold big. Gross slime covers you. Your speed decreased. Roar. Ay ay ay. Mold big gyrates reservedly. Unhug, I guess. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Chest wiggle. Molbig seems comfortable with your presence. Okay, let's get some mercy in here. Okay. Ah, there we go. Bob, 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 Bob. Hi, welcome to Tim Village. <laughs> Hi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. This is the quartet that does the Timmy Village theme. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Yeah, Timmy Village. Oh, 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 oh. Humans, such a cute. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. It's hard boiled. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? 
It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Feeling of being watched. Statue of Tem. Statue of Tem, very famous, very. Tem had me when the allergic to Tem. Then okay, Tem understand. Tim, also allergic to Tim. Lives. <sighs> Let's use the box. I have dog residue. Hmm. Okay. Now to do a little bit of selling. Hi, welcome to the damn shop. I kind of do have voices. Okay. Hi, I'm Timmy. Say hello. Hi, I'm Timmy. About yourself. Hi, I'm Timmy. Tim history. Us Tims have a very deep history. Yeah, yeah, go to the Tim shop. Okay, let's sell the mandana. Whoa, you got a mandanas. Mm, I'm gonna have no mandanas, but I'm gonna pay for colic. Mm, tell you what was the one of mandanas. Tim buy mandana for 51G. Let's get some more out of it. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Bye to my bandage. All right. Time to do some more selling. Um, nice cream. I uh, get that stick, faded ribbon, tough glove. Okay. Hi, you should check out Tim Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tim Shop. Oh, yeah, I should call Papyrus. After this. Buy a ribbon. Yeah, yeah. Tough glove. Yeah, yeah. Stick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's see what Papyrus says. Ring, ring. Oh, there's no response. Yeah, let's use the box. I have a feeling I'm gonna need that spider don't soon. Yeah. Bob, 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 Determination in this village adventure is for your learning because we got Temmy going to college. Um. Oh, Tempe for colleague. Yeah, college. Tim pursue higher education. Tim flick expensive. Let's get Timmy to college. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot of months. Can Tim really accepts? Okay, then go to college and make you proud. You left your face here. Um, yeah, let's get back to that. Tim back from Cool Lake. Tim learned many things. Learned to sell a new item. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Tim Shop. 9,000 G. Timmy Armor. Good stuff.
Yeah, yeah. Boy! You feel something. Determination. Saving. The rich history. Rich history of Tem. First, they didn't have their sweaters, and then they did. And they had cool hair, too. Alright. Um. Oops. Okay. I thought this route was supposed to take me somewhere. Washua and Aaron appear once more. Um, Washua, let's do a cleaning thing. Woo, I'm sweating. Green means clean. Ay, ay, ay. Smells like a muscle farm. Don't get too close, winky face. I'll try not to. Aaron is looking around, fearful of something. Reflex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Okay, let's do the flexing contest again. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay, here we go. Yeah, thrice as hard. I got it. I understand what you're doing, and it's kind of creepy. Stop flexing. Rude. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. And he's gone. Alright. Alright, alright. Time to go traveling some more. Ah, stuck. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Going down. Going over. Up. And on to adventure. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. But I came to see the crystals. Um... Oh dear. Oh. Hello. Mold Big and Washua up here. Let's do a cleaning. Aye. Uh, spare. Slime sounds. <laughs> ah, no. Unhug. Yeah! Respect and boundaries! Roar. Yep. Just shrink back down to a mode small. I can't see the crystals. Uh, can't see. Uh, this sucks. I can't see stuff. Uh, uh. There we go. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, just barely. Yep. Scrub a dub dubs. Hey. Okay. Mercy. Whistle as it cleans. <whistles> ah. Washua is friends with a little bird. 
Apparently so. I'll have to do a joke next time. Ah. Dang it. Eh. Next time. Spare. Ah. No. There we go. Yeah. Are we going to be seeing Undyne again? I sure hope so. Behind you. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffer them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait! Who's she fighting? Hey, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> nice. Okay, nothing there. But hey, a pathway! And a lot of things floating around. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh! Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it! Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. I really want to see what these other Echo Flowers have to say. Sadly, I cannot. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Okay, I think we're good. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please? Nah. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. Yo, whoa, 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 wait! Help! I tripped! Y 
y yo, dude, if, if y you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to go through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Yeah. Time to move on. Is there anything of importance in this room? Not particularly. Um, I should probably get something to heal myself. Yeah. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah! Yeah. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. Let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> the wind is howling. You're filled with determination. I probably shouldn't have used that bicycle. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come! On guard! Let's plead. Told on and down you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Yeah, because she's a heroine. Not to be confused with the drug. Told him now you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad, but then how about this? Undyne flashes a menacing smile. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Smells like sushi. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. I won't let you snatch it away from us.
Undyne's suplex is a boulder. A huge boulder, just because she can. Because her diet is rock hard. Yeah, I made a bad joke. Yeah, enough warming up! Ah, dang it. Ah, frick! Let's flee. Ah! You won't get away from me this time! Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds their ground with her fists. So epic. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Dang it. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Killing you is now an act of mercy. Dang it. Let's spare again. So stop being so damn resilient! Ah, dang it. Ah, dang it! Ah, need an item. You've escaped from me for the last time! Alphas told me humans were determined. Whoops. I see now what you meant by that. And then thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists again. But I'm determined too! Determined to end this right now! Dang it! Right now! Dang it. Right now! Dang it. And then flips her spear impatiently. Undyne towers threateningly. Nah, die already, you little brat! Oh, come on! No way! All made rest upon you. Jester, stay determined. Dang it. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Let's try this again. Yep, yep. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Not bad. Then how about this? Undyne bounces impatiently.
Yeah. Good times. Yeah, enough warming up. Yeah, finally dodged it. Let's run. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Yeah, let's keep sparing. Let's keep this going. Dang. Oi. Yep. Good times. Why is Undyne so fast? Yep, HP is maxed out. Good. Hey. God dang reversals. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Ah, dang it. Ah, ho, ho, come on. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, come on. I've got better to do. Oh, come on. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at a house later. So close. Uh. Stop running away. Oh, let's run away again. <laughs> oh my god, her face. She was so ticked that Sans was asleep. Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yeah. Give Undyne the water. Yep. As I step on her tongue. Speaking of water, I need to get some. Yeah. 
You're a little bit embarrassed there. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came up with a waterfall to get a drink. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Now I'm gonna be right back. You guys don't go anywhere. Um you know, what time is it? I need to check my time. Don't want it to get too late. Well, since it is getting a little bit late, I will have to call the stream to an end for right now. And I want to thank all of you for coming in and coming up on a school night or work night, whichever it is. So, thank you very much for coming. And as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I know, I'm sorry, but we'll do more later, don't you worry. So... <laughs> oh, thank you. But I need to get some rest too. I will stream tomorrow night, okay? Same place, same time. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Love all of you. Thank you for coming. Now, excuse me while I try and close down the stream, because it's kind of awkward being here still. All right, I'm good. See you guys later.